let us see what conf test settings and yaml has in them in conf test file you can see that we have the desired capabilities which are listed out here and then we have the teardown method and the desired capabilities is within the setup method and you can notice that we are reading the data from a different file instead of hard coding values directly into the conf test file this is implemented in this way to make it usable by both ios and android platforms when you come to the settings.py file you can see that we have a variable with name config and it in turn reads the data which is available in the config.yml file similarly we have a variable called test data which reads the data within the production.yml file in the line number 6 you can see that we have a env variable and i have set the environment as production if for example you are running your test cases in a stage or qa environment you can change this to stage qa according to your use case in in our implementation i am giving the environment as production and when you come to the config.yml file you can notice that uh, we have device config and inside that i have ios and i have mentioned all the desired capabilities which is required to boot an ios device and then i have similarly mentioned the same for android and in the second line you can notice that i have a platform param which will take android or ios if you switch this to ios when you run a test case all your test cases will get executed in ios device and if you change this to android and run a test case all your test scenarios will be run on an android device so this is the switch which will control which platform the test cases will be run and similarly in settings.py file this is the variable which will decide which environment the test cases will be run and also tells what type of yaml file to refer to in order to fetch the test data